But take me through the debate on FDI and retail, Mahak. You know, this is this is a completely different argument. On one hand, you have the politics of freebies. The, on the other, this is turning around a policy of an early elected government. This this can be this can get completely out of hand. What is the Ahmadmi's position uh, on FDI and retail, and what's what's the government saying on this? Uh, well, really, you know, as far as uh, Delhi is concerned, and uh, that's why the state politics is so closely linked uh, to what the center does and says as well. Uh, as far as FDI and retail is concerned, uh, it, uh, you know, the, it did come as a shock uh, to the center, even though it was part of uh, ARP's manifesto very clearly, uh, it did say that they uh, they will have a relook at VAT, and of course, FDI in retail, in multi-brand retail, is something that the party does not support. Uh, and right away coming into power in three weeks, Weeks, uh, they did write that letter saying that they would not support it and would like to withdraw it. Uh, just yesterday, you had the Commerce Minister Anand Sharma come out uh, and say that it was a knee-jerk reaction, uh, and it basically looked bad for the country as a whole to really go back on a policy uh, that uh, that they had already gone ahead and uh, uh, you know vetted. Uh, so there are these crosswise. The debate, of course, goes on as far as FDI uh, in multi-brand retail is concerned, whether whether we have an evolved uh, market for that or not. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that it is a policy decision which has been pushed through uh, over a year ago and there have been giants who've been waiting who've come uh, you know who've said uh, uh, giants like Carrefour and others uh, that they want they want to come to India and they are thinking of these investing plans uh, so as far as the signal goes outside uh, to these multi-brand retailers uh, who we be, we've been also speaking to uh, is again the mixed thing that they don't know uh, you know when a policy will uh, really uh, uh, the government will uh, go back on it uh, but the larger question here that everybody is asking in Delhi, of course, is that will the other BJP states follow suit uh, after the app is written to the central government on FDI? Captain Gopinath, you know, uh, FDI and retail, the Ahmadmi party wants to reverse the decision taken by the Shijra Dikshit government. What's the message this is going to send out? I mean, is this, is Arvind Kejriwal opening a can of worms where every state government will go back uh, and decide that he or she is, doesn't like it because it's, it seems more populist uh, before an election? I think, uh, as I said, um, I personally, uh, this is my personal opinion, uh, not the Amadmi Party opinion. And I personally feel, uh, you know, uh, they should have taken some time before making any of these kind of major policy decisions. Mm. Apart from the fact that if uh, today uh, a government makes a rule and then the next government, uh, you know, blindly uh, changes it, and we have seen this, you know, Congress proposes and BJP disposes, even in the multi-band retail, it was the BJP who was pushing for it, and BJP played politics, and uh, they, they were against it. But, but I want to come to the larger picture. What you're now trying to say is that it is okay for the Indian corporate, uh, corporates in the retail, can, they can rape the uh, you know, uh, retail sector of the locals. That means you're not allowing the FDI. Uh, what I'm trying to see, they always have three kinds of lobbies. One is, you know, you have the government lobby which doesn't want privatization. Like, you know, it could be in BSNL, as we saw earlier, or it could be airports earlier, or it could be, uh, you know, airlines. There is a, or in the automobile, you know, the ambassador car was there. They never wanted the uh, uh, others to get, get a license. They didn't want uh, uh, foreigners to come into the country. Then, uh, uh, that is the government always opposing it. Hmm. Then, you know, you have the Indian uh, corporates, the very big lobby, and I think this is more dangerous than the, it's more dangerous than the uh, multinational lobby. The Indian uh, huge corporates who have become uh, oligarchs or, uh, you know, cartels, they are also exerting pressure to, uh, to ensure that foreign, uh, you know, investment, not just in retail, foreign investment, uh, they, they are opposing in foreign investment in a lot of sectors. Then the, you have got the foreign lobbies, you know, which employ f lobby firms to come uh, to, to put a foreign investment in the country. Now, coming specific to FDI and retail, uh, uh, I mean, I mean uh, you know, when, when you say... Uh, you do not want foreign direct investments in retail. That means you are okay with the Indian corporates, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, doing the same thing. That means that means you are okay. Indian corporates taking away the uh, jobs of the Indian retailers because they could be worse. Because now you are paying into the hands of the big retail uh, industries like uh, you know, it could be Reliance, it could be Big Bazaar, or, or it could be uh, the the Birla Group. Sure. That means you are now. Uh, uh, unwittingly you fall into the hands of the, the Indian uh, uh, retail corporates hmm. who are opposing the FDI in retail. So it really doesn't matter whether the Indian uh, corporate takes away the jobs of the small retailers uh, or the foreign uh, direct investment uh, takes away the jobs of the sure. uh, retailers. I, but my personal view is 
even when you go to uh, you know the US or Europe or even in, the, in, in, in any other countries, I, I've been there very very you know often when I observe. Sure. Because my wife runs a small uh, retail uh, bakery. Sure. Uh, or, and we have got these Udupi hotels in uh, in uh, in in Karnataka. No McDonald's can shake a Udupi hotel. I, I... No foreign bakery can shake my wife's bakery. Okay. Uh, and similarly, when I have gone abroad, there are a lot of Indians who have got small retail shops. Nobody can shake them away because they're always efficient. They get tax breaks. Uh, because they are small retailers, they get they get various kinds of other tax breaks, and they are always nimble. So we sure. need more competition, and I think we are unwittingly now playing into the hands of the Indian corporate, who will have a monopoly in the retail. They are basically now trying to benefit from a, a, not allowing foreign direct retail to come in. That Captain Captain Gopinath, uh, Captain Gopinath, I, I take your point, and I have one final question to you. Uh, what are you going to? You know, I, I understand some of these policies have have not been clearly thought out. What are you going to tell, as a member of the Aam Aadmi Party, what are you going to tell Arvind Kejriwal? What would be your advice? And secondly, are we going to be seeing a contest between you and your friend Nandan Ilekani from South Bangalore? <laughs> no, I'm not... Uh, I mean, that's, part, that's for the party to decide. Because, I, I, you know, as I said, I... Uh, See, Anna gave uh, uh, hope uh, uh, and aspiration to the large, uh, young and the middle class who are, you know, disillusioned, who are cynical. Uh, and, uh, you know, he gave hope. And uh, it was an ideology, it was a movement. I think I admired him. I took part in that Anna movement here. When Kejriwal and Kiran Bedi, all of them used to come, I used to meet them here. And Kejriwal has given a platform for political action. Uh, so we, we should be grateful, all of us in this country, that he has shaken up the old established political orders, which was fought on money. Uh, all of us know it. Uh, they fought on money. They fought on muscle power and caste power. Sure. So in one stroke, he has changed that. Right. So, uh, so we should all be eternally grateful for that. But, having, but I also said that, uh, I think I already said that, this is my personal view. I think it's good, you know, the Aam Aadmi Party gets, to, gets a view of all of us. Because the party is still young. They may not have the, you know, the mechanism to get, get the, you know, feedback from internal parties. Sure. It's my personal view that we have the, you know, see, you, you have the greatest of economists. Right. There's no dearth of it. Sure. You know, uh, uh, you know like uh, John Kenneth Galbraith said, if you lay all the economies end to end, they'll point in all directions. Sure. What's the point of having the best, uh, you know, economists from Harvard and MIT? Look, look at the mess we are in. Sure. Uh, sure. Uh, because if you have corruption, no, nothing works.